everyone, today I'm here to review a book for you, and today's book is going to be Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. Sorry, it's so, like, dirty. It just happens, I guess, with, like, black satin covers. Um, anyway, this is a contemporary book. I will tell you what it's about, and I'll tell you briefly what I thought, of, and then I'll tell you what I thought about it, and then I'll talk about some spoilers. Um, probably not too much spoilers, but I'm going to try to keep this a very quick review, so anyway, let's get into this it. This book is all about a girl named Willow Dean, self-proclaimed Dumplin'. Her mom named, mainly calls her Dumplin', and Willow Dean is overweight, um, and even though with that, she's very confident in who she is. She's very comfortable in her own skin. She just feels that that that's who she is and everyone's gonna have to get used to her. That's, she feels like that's who she is and she shouldn't have to explain herself or act any differently. Anyway, Willow Dean starts getting involved with this guy named Bo and because of that, Willow Dean starts to really kind of doubt herself, doubt her confidence in herself, doubt her body and everything about it. And it's not not so much necessarily that Bo's making her feel that way. It's Bo is, but, he's, but she's also feeling that way with this new relationship type of thing going on. So she's just really starting to waver her confidence and her friendship kind of suffers. And then she decides to join this pageant called the Blue Bonnet, pa the Blue Bonnet Pageant. And usually people that sign up for this pageant are really skinny girls, very pretty girls, and Willow Dean just wants to gain her confidence back to show that, you know what, you can be comfortable in your own skin no matter what shape or size you are. And yeah, so it's a very empowering book if you can't already tell. And yeah, it, it was really amazing. I really, really loved it. I'm so glad that I got this in my Alcrate box. So overall, it was such an amazing book. It definitely made me feel empowered as a woman that is overweight herself and has been overweight for many, many years. I felt very, very, I felt a kin, like a connection with Willow Dean because it's hard, like I try to feel confident in my own skin, but I ultimately don't, and no matter what, doubt always creeps in my mind, and you know, it's that type of thing when you walk into a room, you notice how all your other friends are so pretty and skinny, and you're not, and you just feel like you're ugly and horrible. I feel like that on a daily basis, if I'm honest, and I know I could work on that to make myself feel better, but overall I just need to be happy with who I am and it takes a long time to get to that road you know every woman every person deals with that honestly probably even if you're insanely skinny you have doubts no matter what you have confidence issues usually but yeah confidence is a thing that every person should have and I wish I just had confidence pouring out of me like shining like a light and I don't I am a very very low low confidence person i always have been i'm just i think very poorly of myself that's just me and i'm sure a lot of people out there feel the same way about themselves it's just a horrible thing but that's how it is what i liked about willa dean is she was so confident she was like you know what yeah i'm big but you know what that's who i am deal with it and i really inspired that that inspired me i'm like you know what if she she's like a freaking 17 year old 16 year old book and she's like this is who i am get over it you know and i really really enjoyed that about willa dean i liked her dialogue throughout this whole book. I liked her relationship with her best friend Ellen and everything about it was just amazing. I loved how they weave the pageant into this to show, you know what, not everybody that's like skinny and awesome and stuff has to enter the pageant. Other people get enter it too, you know, even her friends Millie and Amanda and the other girls did back on internet and they all have, you know, self-confidence problems as well. One girl is very, very overweight, the other one has like, um, has to wear these special shoes because she walks weirdly and the other one has like I forget what type of her teeth are not exactly right. I mean, mine definitely are right. But you know, it just it just really Willow Dean inspires everyone around her, and she shines confidence out of her. I mean, she shines so much confidence that those three girls that you know get picked on constantly rose up and decided to sign up for this pageant as well. Um, there's not really too much to else to say about this book other than like you know the relationship with Bo. I really like Bo. He had a girl on me because at first I thought it was a douche. Okay, I was like, ugh, Bo, get out of here. Um, but he was really overall an amazing character. He definitely had a great character arc, and I really was rooting him for the end. And the end, oh, I love the end. How it was very open. You don't know who really won the pageant unless. Um, but I love how they didn't even tell you the winner, and I love the very very end. You know with her and Bo was left very, very open. I really liked that. I felt like, you know, this very end of this book, um, Willow Dean found her confidence again and found who she was again, and it just, it made, it made a full, full story arc. What I did not like about this book was the Mitch. I really liked Mitch. Mitch was a really great guy. I don't, I feel like Willow Dean kind of led him on where she was like, yeah, I think I like you. And he was very much into her. You could obviously tell. And Willow Dean was still harboring feelings for Bo. And I think she really wanted to like Mitch, but she just couldn't. But I wish she would have not let him on so much. Not to say that she like insanely let him on, but she did a little bit. She could have been a lot better about that. But that's the one thing I didn't like. Overall, I gave this book a 5 out of 5. 
I really loved it. I would recommend it to anyone, anyone really. Not people that just struggle with confidence, not people that are just overweight, people that just need a boost up because this book will make you feel that. It'll make you feel happy. And, you know, I really also love Willow Dean's relationship with her Aunt Lucy. I loved how she talked about her constantly and the Dolly Parton in this and just, it was just, everything about this book was just awesome and I really loved it and the writing was so amazing. I loved how it just sucked you in and you could not stop until you finished it. I adored that. So amazing job, Lou Murphy. That was just phenomenal. If you, if any of you have read Dumplin', please let me know what you thought of it down below. I would love to know what you thought. And yeah, hopefully this wasn't too short. I just wanted to get to the point and, you know, get it done. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Be sure to like this video and give this video a I thumbs up and subscribe. Bye. For you. I pushed it out to sea and bid adieu. We drifted out.